We continue to follow breaking news right now. A week long search for a murder suspect in Chester County finally coming into an end. Hundreds of officers assisting in boxing in Tyler Terley in the woods in the Richburg area. Officers were able to bring him in just after 10 this morning. WCNC Charlotte's Billie Jean Shaw has been on the story from the very beginning. She's live now in Chester County. Billie Jean, the sheriff just wrapping up a, an update a few minutes ago. Uh, it sounds like this is the end they've been hoping for. They got him. They got him in custody and they did so safely. They did so safely. No shots were fired. No officers were harmed. And Tyler Terry was not harmed either. The sheriff uh, of Chester County, Max Dorsey, just finished wrapping up uh, and walking us through what this cat, the details of this capture. Tyler Terry was captured around 1030 this morning. I'm hoping back there in the booth you guys can pull up those pictures that I just tweeted. You can see him sitting on the back of law enforcement's truck. His clothes were torn. Uh, they were actually giving him water. Keep in mind, Tyler Terry, 26 year old murder suspect, had been on the run for a week in the woods here in, uh, in the Chester County area uh, in Richburg. And it, again, take a look at those pics. We just got those uh, pictures from the sheriff's office. You see Tyler Terry there sitting on the back of the truck. This is just moments after he was captured at 1030 this morning. Uh, the sheriff said that Tyler Terry was actually hiding behind a local plant in the perimeter of Highway 9 and Richburg Road. If you remember, he was sighted by a police officer yesterday afternoon in broad daylight around 230. They saw him walking near Legion Road, and that is when an officer attempted to chase him. Uh, they got near a church. It happened for about a mile, and that's when uh, Tyler Terry ran back into the woods and the reasoning for not sending an officer behind him was that officer was by himself. It was a safety concern. The sheriff says what he did not want to happen was any of his officers, any of the law enforcement agencies uh, that are here from across the state to get harm. Because keep in mind, this is a very rural area. When you're talking about Chester County, you're talking about what we will call the country, woods, dirt roads. There are no street lights. There are no city lights. It's not anything like Charlotte. So when nightfall happens, it is pitch black. And so what the sheriff says, their strategy was after seeing Tyler Terry, they had officers to surround that entire perimeter. They know that he ran in and they know that one thing was for sure. He was not going to be able to run back out. And that is what led them to his capture today after a week long manhunt. I want to go right now to some sound from Sheriff Max Dorsey. This is what he said moments ago as the, to the condition of Tyler Terry when he was caught. He was tired, thirsty. And, and I spoke to him and asked him if he was okay. You know, he's, he's all cut up. He's got bug bites. His clothes are torn. Um, you know, he, he's exhausted, uh, but we, we've been providing him Gatorade. The EMS uh, personnel went over and checked on him, and um, he's talking. He's fine. Yeah, and again, I want to go back to those pictures. You heard the sheriff say that they provided, you know, uh, emergency uh, care for Tyler Terry. You can see him on the back of the pickup truck uh, uh, getting Gatorade. Um, one of the things that was interesting about all of this, uh, the sheriff said that, you know, that was important for them to do. Of course, he says they are not the judge or the jury. It was their one job was to capture this man, bring him into custody, and that's what they've been trying to do for the past week. And if you're not too familiar with this story, let me just walk you through the timeline. All of this started Monday night around 11 o'clock. If you're familiar with 77, you ever jumped off of X665 in Richburg, there's a Bojangles right there. Well, Tyler Terry and his girlfriend, Adrian Simpson, were parked there at that Bojangles restaurant. Uh, it was again 11 o'clock. Deputies thought that was a little suspicious for someone to be parked there that late when the restaurant was closed. When they attempted to pull over that car to see what was going on, that's when deputies say Adrian Simpson sped off, and that's when Tyler Terry started shooting from the passenger side of the car. They actually led deputies on a 20 to 30 mile high speed chase all the way down through York County back up to Chester near Louisville High School. And that's where we are set up right now. That is the uh, con the command post right here where you see law enforcement. And from there, that's when Adrian Simpson was arrested and she gave up Tyler Terry's name to authorities. Tyler Terry then ran off to the woods, never to be heard or seen from again up until Wednesday night. That is 
is when uh, he was captured on surveillance video at a local store in the Fort Lawn area attempting to steal a utility truck, aka a small golf cart that goes about 15 miles per hour. He got near 77, ditched that truck. We we're also told he stole clothes, snacks, and a, a loaded gun at that time as well. So at that point, deputies knew one thing was for sure that Tyler Terry was armed and they knew he was in the woods and they knew this was a rural area that they did not need to send officers in blindsided, not knowing what he will do, considering his past of uh, all these murder charges that he is accused that he is facing now and murder, which he is accused of. And so from there, the days have gone by. There were some people saying that they saw Terry. Um, there were not confirmed sightings by deputies. All of that changed around 2.40 yesterday afternoon in broad daylight. That is when a deputy that was on standby, his job was to make sure that he watched out to see if Tyler Terry was anywhere around the area. And guess what? The sheriff says it was a mistake on Tyler Terry's part. He ended up running across Legion Road. And when he did that, he went into the woods uh, after being chased by that deputy. Again, it was not safe for that deputy to go behind him because he was the only one at the moment. And that's when they set up shops, set up that perimeter and found him around 1030 this morning, hiding behind a local plant near a power grid, hiding behind high weeds. He was laying down. Uh, the sheriff says he didn't put up a fight. He was armed. He didn't necessarily have the gun directly on him, but they did find a gun in that area. Now, another big question you may be wondering, how is a 26 year old man with a criminal past uh, known to uh, possibly murder people not only in South Carolina and in St. Louis, Missouri, able to survive and hide out in the woods for seven days straight? Well, the answer to that is simple. The sheriff says that Tyler Terry and his girlfriend, Adrian Simpson, all they both have had a history of living in the woods. They both were homeless at one point and they lived in the woods. They camped out. Uh, the sheriff didn't know specifically which woods uh, they lived in, but he he knows about a month at a time they were living out in the wilderness wilderness. And I did speak to a family member uh, super quick just now that said at one point they were living uh, in the woods in Salisbury, North Carolina. Um, earlier the, today, you know, I spoke to Adrian Simpson's mom. She actually lived with Adrian and Tyler for a week uh, just earlier this year uh, in Myrtle Beach. She said Tyler Terry had horrible anger issues. She also tells me that he beat her daughter to the point where she lost sight in one eye. She lost hearing in the other. She says that Tyler Terry threatened to shoot her one time simply because she asked him to take out the trash when they were living together and he destroyed her truck as well. I'm going to post those pictures of the incident she's referring to on my Twitter feed, Billie Jean TV, so you can see that as well. But again, that just gives us more context to who this 26 year old murder suspect is. Tyler Terry, but the good news is Tyler Terry is now in custody headed to the Chester County Detention Center after being on the run for seven days. No one is harmed. No officers are harmed and Tyler Terry is not harmed either. Ben, I'll send it back to you. I know folks there in Chester County are uh, going to be uh, sleeping a little easier tonight knowing that he is in custody and, and kudos to all those law enforcement officers. We know hundreds uh, helping out in, in this search. Billie Jean, thanks. There's a lot of the stories you can probably tell. We've got it all for you right now in this WCNC mobile app.